Mortimer had been hailed as a hero for weeks now. After rescuing Willie, the beloved town mouse, from the jaws of relapsed mouse on Vietnam Island, Mortimer had become a local celebrity. He couldn't walk down the streets without being greeted with shouts of praise and admiration. However, amidst all the celebration, Mortimer couldn't shake off a feeling of unease. It started when he made a visit to a town he had been to before with his friend Sad Mouse. But Sad Mouse was no longer with him. He had taken his own life after the last visit to this town. Now, being celebrated in the same town where Sad Mouse had met his tragic end, Mortimer couldn't help but feel a sense of guilt and sorrow. He tried to brush off the haunting memories, but they kept coming back to him like a never-ending storm. Seeking some solace, Mortimer decided to spend the night in a barn outside of town. But even there, he couldn't find peace. His mind kept wandering to the past and the trauma he had experienced. He had been to the abyss and back, and it had left a deep mark on his soul. As he lay in bed, trying to relax, Mortimer couldn't shake off the unsettling feeling inside him. He hadn't heard from his friend Marcus in a while. Ever since their days at the asylum, he wondered how he was doing, hoping that he had found peace and happiness. But as he drifted off to sleep, his mind took him to a different world. In his dream, he found himself in the underworld, standing before a large castle. In the castle sat the devil, surrounded by his army of minions. Mortimer's heart sank as he saw Sad Mouse chained to the ground in front of the devil. He had seen the devil before, but he had been thrown into a fiery pit. Sad Mouse had not been so lucky. He hadn't seen it coming and had passed away. But now, in Mortimer's dream, Sad Mouse was being held prisoner in the devil's castle. It seemed that the devil was not happy with just throwing him into the pit. He wanted to keep him trapped in his castle forever. As Mortimer watched on in horror, Sad Moose could hear the screams outside the castle. It reminded him of all the harm he had inflicted in his past, all the bad things he had done that had led him to the underworld. Mortim could feel the weight of guilt crushing him as he realized that he was partially responsible for Sad Mouse's current situation. As Sad Mouse begged to be released, trying to break free from his chains, the minions reported the situation to the devil. Even they seemed uneasy with the devil's actions, but the devil ordered them to leave and went outside himself. Left alone, Sad Mouse grew more and more despondent. Hours passed, and he was still unable to break free from the restraints. He couldn't help but think of the time he had spent with Mortimer, and how things could have been different if he had made different choices. Mortimer woke up from the dream, feeling shaken to the core. He couldn't believe the dark thoughts that had crossed his mind. Even if it was just a dream, he couldn't let Sad Mouse's fate become his own reality. Determined to find some closure, Mortimer decided to make a return visit to the town where it had all begun. He needed to confront his past, to come to terms with his mistakes and move forward. As he walked through the town, he saw the same buildings and familiar faces. But this time, he also saw the sorrow and pain that lingered in the air. He could feel the weight of his actions and the guilt. But he also saw the hope and resilience of the townspeople who had faced tragedy and come out stronger. As Mortimer stood in front of Sad Mouse's memorial, he knew that it was time to forgive himself and to honor his friend's memory by living a better life. He knew that Sad Mouse would want him to find happiness and peace, not to be imprisoned by his guilt and trauma. From that day on, Mortimer became even more of a lifesaver, not just for others, but for himself. He made a promise to always remember Sad Mouse and to keep his memory alive by being the best version of himself. 
And as he walked away from the town, he felt a sense of peace that he hadn't felt in a long time.